People think that taxes can be boring, but in fact it's not because it's a necessity. Achieving quality education and health is only possible with tax. On the one hand, developing countries definitely need more tax revenues, but on the other hand, they also need to create more jobs, especially at the formal sector. And with the formal sector, I mean just the businesses and individuals who pay the tax. We look at the case of South Africa, where small business corporations have a lower than normal corporate income tax rate. The motivation is to make it easier for, for small firms to grow and create jobs. We looked at data from the South Africa Revenue Service, and we find out that the firms do react to these tax incentives, but they just uh, change their reporting behavior. Firms don't change their behavior that much in terms of creating jobs or investment. When it comes to understanding the trade-off between growth and tax revenue, we have to have access to high-quality level data from the revenue services. We care about poverty reduction. To reduce poverty, developing countries need greater social protection. At the same time, countries need to find the resources to finance this. We've trained more than 300 government officials in sub-Saharan Africa and Asia and in Latin America to use tax benefit microsimulation models and help them find the answers to the questions that matter to them. These models allow us to understand who benefits from social protection and who pays which taxes. They also allow um, policymakers and researchers alike to estimate the cost of social protection and tax reform for society. Bringing local knowledge together with the expertise of researchers who have worked in the field for many years in developed countries is at the heart of high quality research. Mm -hmm.